gonna start a new topic today. The answer is gonna start a new subject with a new topic. Okay, you know that well. From today onwards, I am gonna take the SS lecture even. Yeah, it's a new kind of subject. You might you might be thinking like this, sir. It's a new subject for you? No, no, dear, no. It's not new subject for me. It was my previous subject. It was my first subject. What I was uh, I was used to teaching. But again, I am gonna enter it. Enter this subject again. Second thing is this. के बहुत सारे लोगों को क्या करते हैं मैं भाई एसएस में एंट्री ले ही रहा हूँ तो व्हाट कूड बी योर फर्स्ट टीप टू दी स्टूडेंट्स तो स्टूडेंट्स ने वो हमेशा पहले की एक और जा पीछ कि यू डू हैव नवनीत पब्लिकेशन यू डू हैव अदर पब्लिकेशंस बुक्स ओके या देर आर सर्टेन बुक्स अवेलेबल � is your Gita. So always remember that that you have to do the question and answer model. You have to do the question and answer model. You have to do the question and answer model. You have to do the question and answer model. You have to do the question and answer model. Each and everything will be from textbook itself. Absolutely. The first problem is what is why you use other publications books in SS. What is the reason why you use other publications in SS? There are only two or three reasons for that. Some people have reason to exactly ask that Sir, why did the textbook not have the MCQ? And suppose that the MCQ is not the same as the MCQ. So there are so few. Okay? Yeah, I can understand that there are few. Okay? But however, don't you worry about that thing. The answer is with you. So definitely, at the end of each and every lecture, an MCQ practice will be given to you. Okay? Short question practice will be given to you. Okay? So our problem, I am going to solve it. Okay? Secondary thing is this. You might be thinking that, Sir, textbook is not the same as paragraph or vice. हमने क्या की खबर पड़े कि where to start the answer and when to end the answer answer okay absolutely no issue with this okay वो तो हमने जेल के भरना मानो शुरुआत करी everything will be pointed out okay each and every question I will tell you कि how to write down that answer when to start and when to end that answer okay तो each and everything in detail I am gonna explain to you तो जम 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 तो हमारा lectures भरता रहे शो M M M M M तो अपने idea हो तो जोशे कि how to write down a paper, how to write down an answer, what to concentrate upon and what to not. Okay, so absolutely right now we are definitely going to discuss about, or right now we are definitely going to concentrate on only one thing and that is our textbook. Okay, so without any further delay, we are to start our very first chapter of history. That is uh, British rule in India. So let's start our very first chapter of history that is rise of British rule in India. Okay. Some people have told you okay, uh, you know that well, okay, it started from 1453. Okay, it was begin in 1453. Okay, some people have been thinking okay, why other countries or European countries wanna come to India. Okay, why there was a need for the Europeans to find out an Indian route as sea route to India. That is the thing. So, so the first introduction we have given is the age of the world. That the Europeans have been told that the people of India have been told to show the sea route to show the sea route. Right? So, absolutely, it is in our introduction. Let's see. Okay, but three of us have pointed to why some of the key applications you are supposed to write down the answer and your exams in point twice. Point twice that means you can make a, a perfect impact, a definite impact on your paper check. So we are supposed to write down like that. Okay, let's begin with this. Okay, since the ancient period, India has enjoyed an incomparable position in whole world due to its economic, culture, and religious inheritance. Okay, so we are going to take some exactly the example that India was rich. Okay, in, in, in what perspective India was rich? So India was rich in the perspective of economic. Yeah, definitely India was economically quite strong at that time. Okay, culture, yeah, absolutely. You still know that in culture, nobody can take a hand of ours. Okay, second thing is the religious inheritance. We do have the religious inheritance. Okay, still we can tell you that in culture and religious, we are still at number one. But as far as economic development are concerned, in modern age, we are far more behind. Behind those uh, those progressed country we can say but it was not like that in ancient times in ancient times uh, uh, India has enjoyed an incomparable position can you believe this it was an incomparable position
religion in the whole world due to its economic, cultural and religious inheritance of India. Second thing is this, due to the economic prosperity. Yeah, economic prosperity. Jhari bhi tumhari country pa koi bande de economic prosperity aave na. So, yaad tak jo people used to come to you. Atya ra tamhe juho ke China and USM are the biggest economy of the world. So, tumhe juho China day by day it is progressing. Okay, and tumhe juho ke hanti ke China kya re koi nthi ghabra ko nthi. Why? Because it is economically too strong. Okay, India ae it too strong tha wani jaroor jai. Pache aapade bhi China jai bhi country ni koi chinta karma ni jaroor nthi. Right now, America jodhi ae ke dada kini kari shi jai. Why? Because it is economically strong. Okay, in ancient age we were economically too strong and we were too strong in economy. So that's why what happens and cultural inheritance people from different nations of the world came to India. Bas aapade economically strong nthi. Second thing is this, kya ho cultural inheritance bhoj nthi chato. That's why what happens, people from all around the world used to come to India. But the local India, Awa maan kata. Right now, the best group of people who have graduated in India, they would be trying to get the U.S. to go. Right now, people want to go to Israel. Because Israel is economically very strong. If you want to go to Israel, 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 then what is the BG branch in India? The second branch will be China. Why is it so? Just because they are economically strong. But in 14, okay, in 14, 15, or something like that, in that area, India was definitely economically very strong. And India was economically very strong, so whole the world wanted to come to India. Second thing is this, okay, there was a lot of demand for the Indian spices. Aad amara MCQ ni matter of three shakya said. Second thing is this, okay, one marker question tamne puchha shakya. One marker, three marker, and four marker questions will be had. To mara 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 one marker, but this question can come to the world. So let us see, there was a lot of demand of, kai was to be demand all over Vidma, India ni hati. So it was Indian spices, okay. Most of the Indian spices grow at that time. At Kerala and right now, if you go to Kerala, so Jetta and Indian spices say they belong to Kerala only. Okay, and Kerala ka khare khar milin ke udhe jaise the land of spices. Kerala no tumhe jo khare khare milin samajh lo. What does it mean Kerala? Kerala means the land of spices. Okay, so Kerala is all over world ma. Ye samay ma even in this modern age, Kerala is a kind of place where khar ra ki jaise in the perspective of Indian spices. So tumhe dhyan diye ra jo. There was a lot of demand for Indian spices. Okay, muslin and silk cloth. Yeah, muslin is a is a thing of cloth. Don't don't compare it with muslin. Okay, muslin nahi. It's muslin na muslin cloth. Baja koi kaise mera to kadi chhipat ma muslin cloth joyu na. Nahi you have seen it. You don't know that's a muslin cloth actually. Okay, koi pan na na ro bala koi na. Okay, and then apne jeepi bhi bharti ke pran vastu wala hi hai sahna. Right? So ek itna jo jo ke thodu thodu cotton bhi hai sahna. Thodu silk bhi hai sahna. Thodu silk hi hai sahna. Thodu cotton hai sahna. Right? So it is the combination of cotton and silk. So when a cloth is made with combination of cotton and silk, it is called muslin. Right, complete cotton panne, complete silk panne. Okay, second one thing is silk cloth. Okay, actually silk cloth is demand pan India ma bohot chhapar jaisa thi. Okay, the amazing thing about India was that ke silk worms were grown in China. Okay, and and two worms. Okay, you you know the history of silk clothes. Okay, actually silk cloth ma yehu chhap ke silk matra na matra silk was invented in China. Two monks from European countries. जहाँ भी समझ रहे हो, two monks from European countries, okay, stole the silk worm egg to their country. ये लोग को चोरी ने ले क्या क्या silk worm clothes हैं Europe में ले गया, okay? ये लोग को Europe में silk worm clothes, silk worm ने करने silk का नू production तो start कर दिया, okay? But they don't know how to make clothes, okay? So most of the silk came to India. We convert them into clothes, and our clothes were that much famous all around the world of silk clothes. के आदि तारीख पर तो हमने कहा कि silk business में India is number one. Okay, yeah, we are not the inventor of silk. Okay, but आपने खबर दी कि silk नो सारा मा सारो उपयोग how to use that silk into an economy that we know. And आपने जानी है जैसे कि आपने तो from 14, okay, from first century we are knowing this. Okay, fine. So silk clothes, indigo. अभी indigo तो हमने बहुत अच्छी जोगा मरी जाए. ओके इंडिगो इज इक्वल टू गई है ना क्या बात है गुजरात की माँ थे ओके सो एट दैट टाइम इंडिगो वाज वाज अ वाज हैविंग अ मेडिसिनल काइंड ऑफ प्रॉपर्टीज सो पीपल वाज यूजिंग पीपल वेर यूजिंग इंडिगो एट दैट टाइम तो 
कई कई वस्तु इंडियन वस्तुओं से जैसे डिमांड ऑल ओवर वर्ल्ड में आती इट वॉज इंडियन स्पाइसिस इट वॉज मुस्लिम सिल्क क्लो मुस्लिम एंड सिल्क क्लोज इंडिगो एक्सेट्रा ओके इन द यूरोपियन कंट्रीज यूरोपियन कंट्रीज में आ बड़ी वस्तु सॉल लीड डिमांड आती ओके थर्ड थिंग इज ट्रेड विद इंडिया एंड यूरोप वॉज कैरिड आउट थ्री यू लैंड रूट एंड सी रूट तो ए वक्त टू विद मीन ऑफ टू रूट अपने यूरोप जो बिजनेस करता था एक तो होता लैंड रूट ओके सेकेंड वो सी रूट ओके तो अमुक बहुत सारी सारी भाषा में कही सकू ना इंटरनेशनल बिजनेस ओके ग्लोबलाइजेशन ओके आवावी हेवी वर्ड्स तब जीवन में क्या क्या तो सांभ्या इंटरनेशनल बिजनेस करतेशनल ट्रेड कर it was india okay so absolutely from land route and sea route we were attached with it, european countries okay and at the center of these routes was istanbul okay je atare turki ma se to or ke se turki ma se right so turki ma istanbul it can be the capital of turkey right now okay but pehla tumhe istanbul ne kya naam se hota tha so istanbul was rightly known as constantinople okay i can even ask you the mc to like this constant kilo means means istanbul and it is in turkey it is in turkey okay find it is in turkey you can find out that okay so istanbul is constantinople okay and now but do okay je bhi sur se se route che ke je bhi apna land route che te vache kayu kai kayu ek motu hub out to je apna belly vache ni ek kadi hati we can speak like this ke it was it was that a bridge between europe and india of the, of that business uh, bridge we can speak like this okay so absolutely it was istanbul we call it constantinople it is in turkey you know that land. okay fine after the conquest but what happened man okay where the problem arose that you must know it just tell you after the conquest of constantinople is equal to istanbul in 1453 by turkish muslims okay pehli jagah thi jo yaad rakho ke constantinople was conquered yeah it was won who won it okay so it was won by turkish muslims when it was won when it was conquered it was conquered in 1453 anno domini everything was going soft and smooth when the problem arose the problem arose at the time when turkish muslim in 1453 conquested constantinople or modern istanbul we can say okay the sea route through constantinople was a closed for the europeans and the jew turkish muslim and constantinople or that istanbul ne jit liye what they did they did only one thing ke europe na loko ne to have mare india jode trade karwa ch nahi deva okay it's a trade war right now you may be thinking like this ke sara china ane india ni vachche ara sari china ane america ni vachche a trade war su chhe okay yeah this is what we say trade war to e vakte turkish muslim ne trade war start kari and what they did they did ke bhai ye logo ek close kar di ho tumaro siru so close kar lo siru je siru the tum logo bridge istanbul was a bridge was a bridge jo band kar di do to india and european countries no business band thai gayo india ne to bahut moto farak na padyo but europeans that affected badly because of this okay now now what happens next so jara jo fine since since they could not do without the spices they could not we do without the spices the europeans felt compelled to discover a new sea route absolutely basically was to the dutch cloth over silk cloth over ke muslim cloth over to if they can run but they cannot run without spices european matter sabse moti mushkil thi baat exactly the problematic thing was that they could not run themselves without spices and they were spices over and now they was over child to no so that's why they were compelled to find a new sea route was at least the thing was तो तुम्हारे 100 टका याद रखवानी छे व्हाट आई एक्चुअली सेड ओके कि तुमने एक स्टेटमेंट पूछा छे के जे इन 3 मार्क्स एंड व्हिच स्टेटमेंट इज दैट ओके स्टेटमेंट इज दैट के द यूरोपियंस फेल्ट अ नीड टू डिस्कवर अ न्यू रूट टू इंडिया 
explain this statement. Okay, so I'm going to show our question. Which I should answer. And whenever this question is asked for three marks, what you are supposed to write down? You are supposed to write down from here to absolutely here. Okay, it would be of three marks. Okay, so you are only to write down. Yes, yes, yes. Only to write down. What is it? After Diwali vacation, okay. So don't you worry about that thing. And whenever you are appearing for that exam, uh, copy me. DM sir, ne yaad kar jo ke DM sir tum ne aap thoda na aap ko sawal pehle thi jo kahi na thodo. Again, I am going to repeat the question. Okay, the European felt a need to discover a new sea route to India. Explain this statement. If it is asking three marks, definitely you are supposed to write down from this. Do this absolutely, okay? Fine. So an era of geographical discovery is beginning. But I'm not telling you what happens. Okay, nobody knows the sea route to India. Who is going to take cover? Okay, the Portugal, the okay, Europe, the KB, the India, the whole thing. Shabo, okay? There are map out there. I will explain you in detail. But absolutely, where do you go? Exploring, okay? Adventures, everything, pirates of the Caribbean type of things are going to begin. Fine. Now we are heading towards the discovery of sea route to India. Okay. Third, you must get both the European countries only both the that you mighty party are saying because they are desperate to find out the way to India because they could not uh, uh, do without the spices. Okay. How much does that extra knowledge can I give you? Okay. You know the they are not only eating only spices. They should not. No, 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 no. Don't think like that. The Europeans are great businessmen. They are great traders. Bartholomew Diaz. It's called Bartholomew Diaz. Okay. 
Okay, I am going to tell you something about Bartholomew Diaz. But let me finish the sentence first. Bartholomew Diaz who discovered Cape of Good Hope. Okay, it was a person. Yeah, when map comes, I just who map play the one who map ma who gonna bar huge was to batavish in detail. But not right now. Okay, I'm going to show you. Tomorrow, tomorrow, I'm going to fit the car. There was a sailor. There was a trader. There was and there there was an explorer named Bartholomew Diaz. Okay, he went for the search to route. Uh, he he went for the discovery uh, to route to India. Okay, absolutely. Okay, what he find found out? He found out Cape of Good Hope. Now, तुमने था इसका Bartholomew Diaz कौन जाए? सर आ Cape of Good Hope सोच रहा है. Okay, समझो. ज़्यादा तो मैं European countries से निकलो जो है Sea route, Maya Sea route. Okay, ताकि Istanbul का वो route तो बंद ही हो जाए. Bad route जाए. एक Sea route जाए. अने बीजो absolute land route जाए. तो land route तो बंद ही हो जाए. राइट तो जाकर मैं यूरोपियन कंट्री से निकला वो स्टार्ट करो जो ना ओके तो यू रीच साउथ अफ्रीका साउथ अफ्रीका एनो 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 कैपिटल से हम बड़ी हो शायद केप टाउन ओके बहुत बड़ी क्रिकेट मैचेस केप टाउन मार रहा है यू मस्ट बी नोइंग दिस ओके या केप टाउन कैन राइटली बी कॉल्ड केप ऑफ गुड होप ओके अच्छा केप ऑफ गुड होप केप इज इक्वल टू व्हाट तो केप का हम तो बहुत बड़ा अलग-अलग टाइप का मीनिंग करता हो इसे बट एक्चुअली अहिया सोचे इट इज कॉल्ड हेडलाइन केप इज इक्वल टू यहां से का इट इज कॉल्ड एच ई ए डी हेडलाइन इट्स कॉल्ड हेडलाइन इट्स कॉल्ड हेडलाइन सो केप इज इक्वल टू हेडलाइन इंडिया ओके तो ये क्या सुनी मौजी चेक अफ्रीका ना केप ऑफ गुड सुडी अफ्रीका ना एक्शन में क्या सुनी मौजी हो जाए तो ये हेड हेडलाइन सुधी पहुंची तो गए उस ओके अबे हेडलाइन सुधी है मानस यहाँ पहुंची क्यों तो केप ऑफ गुड होप सुधी दे मानस पहुंची तो है ना ऑलमोस्ट आई कैन सेड ऑलमोस्ट आई कैन सेड फिफ्टी परसेंट ओके कैन यू बिलीव दिस ऑलमोस्ट आई कैन सेड के फिफ्टी परसेंट ऑफ रूट सुधी कौन है ना क्यों तो फिफ्टी परसेंट रूट सुधी ना क्यों जो है ओके, तो मगज में अपनी इम्प्रेशन की 
as is open the doors of for uh, other European countries come to India. I have obviously Vasco da Gama a route up is video. Actually, you don't know that for the for the last for for the next twenty or twenty five years, Vasco da Gama is going to be the route to India. Okay, matra portu visas. Amane ama amane ama amane ama business karta hai. Twenty five years they were having monopoly on two things. Cinema. You know that mummy ne pucho what is cinema? Okay, mummy ne kada touch. Cinema is equal to touch. And second is paper. Paper is equal to mummy ne pucho money. Okay, but that corona chal raha hai. Mummy money wo khobra hoti hai. So it's called money. Paper on a cinema and a businessman he monopoly. साउथी खतरनाक घटना को वास्को डे गामा वाज रियल बिजनेसमैन आई वुड नॉट कॉल हिम अ सेलर आई विल कॉल हिम अ बिजनेसमैन व्हाई ओटू गले एने इंडिया नो वाइस रॉय बनाई दियो यस 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 ओटू बी जे एने वास्को डे गामा ने इंडिया नो वाइस रॉय बनाई दियो व्हाट इज वाइस फॉर वाइस फॉर इज इक्वल टू गवर्नर ओके जितलो पण बिजनेस आहे जितक्या पण पैसा आवे ए बद्धा पैसा लेवानो काम कोण करे वास्को डे गामा पोतानी पोर्तुगीज टू सरकार सुदी पोर्तुगीज गवर्नमेंट सुदी पोचावन काम कौन करता तो वास्को द गामा करता तो तो आदम की चलो वाज ही अ सेलर और बिजनेसमैन ही वाज अ बिजनेसमैन ओके हिज कंट्री सेंट हिम हियर एंड ही सक्सेसफुली रीच द इंडिया बस माइनस पॉइंट आपरे जो यूरोपियन कंट्रीज में और रसो सुदी ना के होते हैं तो बद्धो बिजनेस आके जिंदगी आपरे हाथ में रहे और बस गलती 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 आपरे आपरे हिस्ट्री आपरे इंडिया से गलती यो थी भरे लो Anyways, both of them see you. For a question, they also just have a look. Okay, who discovered India? He was Vasco da Gama. Vasco da Gama belongs to Portuguese. Okay, second thing in which year he found out that he found out in 1490 anodomy, in 1498 anodomy. Okay, on which date? Uh, just for your knowledge, it is 20th of May. Kai jagya Vasco da Gama hai? The logo thano ko India ka mukyo. It was Calicut. Who was the king of Calicut? That the ten king Zamorin was the king of Calicut. Okay, and absolutely, but one more idea. Portuguese niya idea, but in you, a world niya ay to gay. But to aje we are taking just this, not more than this. Next video tomorrow will come. Okay, here DMs are signing off. Thank you.